All right, so at this point we have our trials. Um, they're empty, so we don't, they don't have any observations in them yet. And at this point, um, you should have your traits matched up to the uh, breed-based traits. And now we can upload the actual observations that we have from the trials. So the phenotype upload template is fairly straightforward. It has one required column, and that is called observation unit underscore name. And that has the uh, plot name where the, uh, the observations were made. So for example, these are, would be the plot names that we created in that trial upload template. So it's that trial code dash plot 101. So we have that column with all of the plot names. And then we have a column for each of the traits that we observed. And the format for that column is going to be the trait name followed by a vertical pipe and the trait ID. And we have a column for each of the traits that we measured. And then the values just go directly into those, into those fields for the plots and traits. So this is just an excerpt of the demo trial template that I created with the uh, sample data set. So we can take a look at that. And here you can include multiple trials. So you can see here we have all the plots listed for our Ithaca location. And then further down, we have the plots for our Geneva location. So you can include multiple, plot, uh, multiple trials in one upload template. And if, for example, you measure test weight in one location and not the other, you can just leave the values blank for that second location. So we have a column here for each of our traits and the, with the plot names and the observation unit name column. So to add our upload template for phenotype observations, we go to manage the phenotyping results page. And here there are multiple ways of adding um, observation data. What we have is a phenotyping spreadsheet so we would use the upload spreadsheet link here. And the format that we're using is simple. Uh, the detailed format just has some extra trial level metadata at the top of the page, but it's easier just to use the simple template. And again, there's some more information about the spreadsheet format uh, here. So we choose our file here. The first thing you have to do is click this verify button and that will verify the plot names and the trait names to make sure they're correct. And if that's all good, then you can click the store button and it will store those trials in the database. So down here we have an upload successful, so that's good. What we can do is we can view our trials so we go to manage field trials, find our breeding program, and then our locations here. And what we can see under this phenotype summary statistics here is that we have a table with our summary stats for our observations. And then a histogram of the observations will show up here in a few minutes. It takes a couple minutes for the database to sort of refresh with the new data before that shows up. But there's also histograms of the, the traits. 